A ball mass travels vertically downwards and hits the floor and it rebounds. Wow. Wow. Let's draw this out. Collisions without pictures is a disaster waiting to happen. So you have a ball coming down, mass M, and then it hits the floor at speed U. So this part, when it hits the floor, is at speed u going down like okay, I show this like show is going down at some vertical velocity u. Then it rebound. Okay, so that will be the moment it rebound is kind of like this, but starting to go up. And this is going up velocity v. Collision last time t, which means well, this whole time where the ball is in contact, the collision is when the ball is touching the floor or whatever, is time t. What is the average resultant force exerted on the ball during this collision? So you need to think of this force on the ball. Who is pushing the ball? You gotta remember the floor will exert a force on the ball. That's why the ball goes up in the first place. So the moment the ball touches the floor, you will have a force, something like this, upwards. And it changes lah, okay? Uh, this one would roughly be the same. If you draw another one where the ball is a little bit squashed, not moving exactly, this will be a pretty big force. So you kind of need to know the average force, you know. It keeps changing. So one way you can do this is, you know the initial and final speed. How do you calculate force? If you look at all this equation, it looks awfully familiar. This is actually Newton's second law. F equals to net force equals to change in momentum over change in time. So the change in oh, change mt change in momentum during this impact time of t. So the net force is what our average resultant force is what we're looking for. So change in momentum will be the final velocity minus the initial. Now there's one thing to be very careful of. You need to decide which is positive, which is negative. So if I say mm, I want to decide up is positive, down is negative. Okay, so then this will be positive v, negative u, because the direction matters positive and negative. So if final momentum will be mv positive minus initial velocity which will be m times u negative so mu over delta t. So this will give you mv plus mu over delta t. Ah, So from here you can look at the choices and see which one will give you the possible option? Oh, these two are out. And the force is acting upwards. Ah, because force on the ball. You want the force on the ball. So it's upwards mv plus mu over delta t. Some of you may be concerned. Say, miss, what if I, de I, I define up as negative and down as positive? Well, you would get something similar. You would get negative. You can factorize it out. mv plus mu over delta t. Which can mean the same thing, okay? It's just a, a, a difference of signs. How do you define what is up, what is down? Okay, so that is all for this question. Remember collisions, draw pictures, and know the force acting on the ball. Where does it come from? The floor. If you hit the wall, where does the force come from? The wall is pushing the ball, okay? Oh, I guess you could draw the last part. The ball hits and then rebounds and goes up. Okay, so that is all for this question. I will see you in the next one.